this morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm driving right now, so if I don't look at the camera, look at y'all, please forgive me. But, uh, well, know that I'm driving. You don't have to forgive me, just know that I'm driving. But, um, I just came on the, to uh, talk a little bit. I'm by myself, I left the girls home because we have, two of them have school and the other one be um, cooking and making them their breakfast and their lunch. So, um, what I'm going now is to the dentist. I have a, they have to take an x-ray of my, um, of my mouth to see what's, see something. So. <clears throat> Anywho, um, how y'all doing today? What's going on? What y'all have going on besides? Well, some places are opening up, so people are getting back out there and all that. So, um, y'all kids at school, um, like, are they going, are they doing the remote school learning or going physically? Mine stay at home because I don't, I lost a son, as I said before, in 2015. My only son, in fact. Um, and I can't, I don't know how I would be able to deal with a loss of another child. I, I don't know. If my heart could stand that, I don't know how, if, if anything will ever happen to any of my, any more of my children, I don't know. I, first of all, I don't know how I dealt with losing him. I, 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 I've always cherished my kids and, um, and looking like this because this car is getting over a little bit to me but anyway I, I, I've always um I've always like cherished my kids and loved them like with all I had in me um and my oldest daughter when she turned 18 she she moved out she left home um Every now and then she had came back home, you know, for whatever reason or whatever, but she didn't stay long because she couldn't deal with, like, my rules, how I raised them up because that still stands. I don't care how grown she got, it still stood. Um, she didn't feel comfortable. Understandable, I understand that. So she moved on. So um, when she left, I mean, I've always prayed and said, Lord, you know, lead and guide my kids and watch over them and shield them and protect them and um, go with them and so on. Um, but when she left, different times I would pray, I would include, Lord, I'm giving her back to you. And I never had said that because I never felt the need to say it because they was always with me. It was always with me and around me, you know, not speaking about going to school and I'm not talking about that part. I'm talking about like when we go to, when they come home from school, they home. When they, um, they didn't really hang out because they, they wasn't them type of kids. I didn't have them hanging out like that. Um, but when she left, I will pray and say, Lord, I give her back to you. You know, keep her and protect her. But whatever you need to do to keep her on the right track of, put on the right track, let your will be done in her life as well as mine, you know. Because he knew I loved them. 
I loved my I love my kids. I'm not gonna say loved, I love my kids. And so that was that one. So then when my son was in the hospital, I do a story time on that. I just have to get myself together with that, but and I'm not gonna talk too deep on this because I don't wanna be emotional like that. But um when he was in the hospital, I put him in God's hands. Um, like I said, I've always like, you know, prayed and said, Lord, you know, watch over him and stuff, but to actually say I put him back in your hands. Um that to me was a sign of saying you got this the rest of the way because I might not be around. And I never felt to say that because I've always felt like I was going to um, be here. You know, as I've always been, you know, I I had my first daughter when I was um, young and that'll be another story. I had her when I was young and um, I gave, you know, when I had her, I put myself to the side. I was no more me. I was no more Trina. It was about the baby. You know, I didn't really buy myself stuff. I bought her, made sure she had and made sure she was taken care of um, so she wouldn't be without me. Um, and so I never felt led to say I put any of my children in God's hands. Although, I, I mean, that'd be a good thing to do because they're not always around me, you know, going to school and when they leave home. But um, when he was in the hospital, I did the same for him. I put him in God's hands and I asked him to, um, you know, watch over him and stuff like that. And, and just, just whatever is being done outside of my um, my vision outside of me seeing anything you know Lord you watch over him and you protect him so I mean he knows best he knows all I, I mean I know that for sure so um and I've always known that you know no matter what happens in life God always knows best because he created us so he know it all. Um, so I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, I put my son in God's hands and um we can we we as humans can say that um Well, when we put him in God's hands, um, you know, why did he allow him to pass away? Or why did he, um, you know, how could you think like he knows best, you know, when he did this? Like someone re reach out to me when um, my son passed and asked me stuff like that. But anyway, um, anyway, um, God is still God no matter what. <laughs> I want to say what income or what outcome. But what comes in to our lives or what goes out of our lives, leaves our lives. He's still God. I need some lip. Put some lip jam. Oh, hold on. So, um, he's still God no matter what. I don't care if we as humans not going to understand it because we don't have that mind. There was a, min a, a elder, a minister at my church. He said, one time he said, if you had the um, the mind of God, we couldn't handle what he know. If we even saw everything he saw, we, we couldn't handle it. Our mind isn't our mind isn't set up like that. Uh 
our mind ain't set up to um oh y'all I'm using some of this mint mint and argan from um mint and argan from uh grove It's real good. It's like exfoliating. I'm getting off the subject a little bit, but it's exfoliating my lips. It feels real good. Um, so yeah, we couldn't we couldn't handle the our mind couldn't handle or hold what God see and what He know. So. Uh -huh. best bet is to do is just like give it all over to him I mean you know when we have a loved one that passed away or like my daughter left home you know that hurted me it hurt it bad she didn't leave right but she didn't leave deeply wrong either um you know she was waiting on that 18 she was waiting on 18 to come and um Hold on, y'all, for a minute. She was waiting for the 18 to come so she can go see what the world had to offer. And um, she turned 18 like that Sunday because her birthday is like around Father's Day. She turned 18 that Sunday. And that Monday, she was, she had them packed the little stuff up. And she was going off to one of my, um, somebody I know house. I'll tell, I'll tell that story later. Um, anywho, what, what is this car doing? Anywho, um, she, when she left, you know, it was, it was heartbreaking because I felt like I wanted her to, um, stay home, go to college at home, you know, get a job and save a little money up so when she not a little money but save her money up and when she um when she save up and all she can move and get a place and you know that's that's i felt like that's the right way to leave off you know utilize what you have while you home you know don't leave because when you leave it's okay you can leave but you know, because I've always told my kids, they welcome back home. They always welcome back home. I don't care if I, when they move off and I downgrade and get a one bedroom. If they feel okay by uh, coming back home, sleeping on the floor, the sofa, whatever have you, fine. The door is always open. <clears throat> so, um, and I never y'all it sounds real crazy but this is me this is me i have never i never thought of my children i mean i knew they was gonna grow up that's life but it seemed like they was little for so long like i never thought they would grow up and and my oldest want to be 28 and have her own place and uh, driving and and then I have this other one home <laughs> she's she's me she's not going anywhere she says so I said what happened when you you know you meet someone and you know you want to get married and move away she said I don't think I meet nobody I don't she said because of what she expects from a, a guy she don't think nobody's out there like that I said well First of all, be careful what you pray for. Second off, don't um, don't think that way because God put us here to have a mate. He put women for a man. So I feel like um, if she's going to be, I don't know, I, I, I just feel like if Anyway, I'm going to get off of that. I feel like um, I told her to don't, don't, don't be like that. Don't think that way because somebody out there for everybody. 
Like I used to feel the same way. I used to feel like, uh-uh, um, I ain't getting married. I mean, I might've, you know, had guys in my, a couple of guys or so in my life or whatever have you, but <clears throat> I just never felt like I would actually get married, you know, Cause that's a that's a that's a that's a to me that's that's lifelong. Cause I when I if I get married I'm gonna stay married. It's no divorce and we gonna always work it out through hard times or difficult times. I might get sick of them. I know it, but we was gonna work it out. So, <clears throat> um, I just never thought. <clears throat> They would have grew up and as adults like that i just i just never saw it i mean i don't know who sit back and see it but i just never actually um it never really hit me till they got grown and <clears throat> then they say my i feel to have a um, daughter this age or whatever my baby is 12 and i never saw <laughs> I never saw that because she was just this little type of kid that was so unique I never had to feed her you know like other little kids you know no 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 I never had to do that it's almost like she came here God put her in my life I ain't doing that y'all I'm not crying I'm not trying to do it it's like God put her in my life to bring comfort to me because I was going to go through a hard time as I did I went through a tough time losing my son I really did and this little girl when he passed she didn't she was she was just five when, she, when he passed so she really didn't understand um she really didn't understand like life or whatever, whatever was happening. She didn't understand what was going on. But anyway, um, so I never really saw them grown. I never said out. Oh, when they I always said when y'all grow up, you know this, that, or the other, or whatever. Um, but I never saw them grown and. I think I was just, my eyes was closed to that because I was a mama and I felt like it was just going to be little all the time. I don't know what I thought, but that sounds crazy, but I don't know. I don't know what I thought, but um, it just seemed like they stayed little all the time, for a long time. Like, like I had five little kids all for a long time. <laughs> And I love that, y'all. I love it. I loved it. But if I had a chance to have... If I had a chance to do it all over again, I wouldn't do it the way I did it. I would, would um, get married first. And that was something I was really, really big on being wrong for doing. I mean, I don't know what I was even thinking. I was my my common sense seemed like it was just blocked. It was just like I always tell my mom, I always say, say mom, when I was young my mind was gone. The devil had my mind. And he did. He had my mind. He had my mind to a point where I didn't use what I was taught and I was taught um, marriage first before you have sex with any guy and I don't know what I was thinking I mean I'm not going to even say that it was because I didn't my father wasn't in my life all that that don't that don't have to be the, it don't have to mean that. That don't, I don't even want to say that mean that in that situation because my dad, he was in and out. Um, he 
he, he got a, he was from the country. Well, he's from the country because he still lives. He's from the country and my mom is from the country. But he was one of them type, I believe, that just like my daughter when she turned 18 and she left home, she, um, she is like, oh, I'm so happy to be 18. I could go and do what I want to do because someone influenced her mind. You know, they thought, they told her, they, in other words, they made her think that um, she was 18. She could just do what she want to do. That's okay. That's why it's not good to have your kids, have anyone over your kids. You know, that is not going to instill the same thing you instilling in them. If you want to raise them up to believe that um, they should get married first before they have sex, and then you have someone over your kids that's telling you, girl, um, get you some, get you a piece, or um, child, don't don't work. That's that's old folks talk. Uh, whatever. Don't have nobody over your kids because people don't raise your children like you raise them. <clears throat> They'll tell them stuff that you don't want them to know. And or um, they'll tell them stuff you don't want them to know. At the same time, they're going to tell theirs what they want them to know. They ain't gonna hold nothing back from telling theirs, but they gonna, oh, tell yours, and then they gonna turn around after they tell them stuff, you know, put things in their head. They gonna turn around and sit back and watch, watch them, watch she gonna get, go out there and get pregnant or something stupid like that. Anyway, um, so, um, what I'm about to say. Yeah, so excuse me. So um mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so my dad that's where I was at. So my dad he was uh, in and out typing. I think when he came from the country his brothers, you know, was telling him how the city was and stuff like that. So I think when he came here, it's almost like he um he put in his mind that, oh, <clears throat> city, you know, thus and such, you know, I could get a good job and, um, you know, take care of the family. And I guess while he's taking care of the family, he could, um, um you know, do what he want to do. My mom wouldn't see nothing or know nothing or whatever because she was you know, country, naive, um, you know, he don't know nothing. All he know is what, all he knows is what um, his brother's been telling him or whatever. I don't know what he, what he knew. I don't know what he even thought. So, you know, he, he came in, he wanted to, you know, do the little running around and do whatever he wanted to do and at the same time he's not realizing that he was making his family look bad you know for those who knew us and I, like I tell my children if, if if my friends know me they know you because y'all always surround me and if your friends know me I mean, know you, they know me because you always around me or whatever. And um, so it's a certain way you have to walk. It's a certain, um, let me wipe this off, it's a little dusty, y'all. Uh, okay. oh, dusty like this. I'm sorry, it's dusty. I need to clean it or something. Oh, we're making it worse. So um, so he he would he would he would do all the little 
in and out stuff, you know, then it, it started being, um, it started being stuff like, uh, he going for a certain amount of months or uh, whatever. I don't know if it started out being days or weeks or what or what, but we was young and so my mom took care of all of us. It was six of us. And, um, Like it's gonna turn yellow. It was six of us at um so she struggled. She struggled with us and and I thank God for that because it could have been it could have went the other way she could have she could have left or something could have happened to her, you know, with the big load on her back of raising us um it could have been such a big load on her back that she you know couldn't take it and she she passed away or something like that and my dad had to raise us you know stuff like that it could have went that way but I thank god it didn't because I don't know where we would have been if that been the case um and so anyway I was just saying that to say I raised my children to um, to be home, stay home. I mean, I'm, 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 I feel like that's very logical. Like a lot of people, they a, a lot of people wanna when they have their kids. It's like, um, oh, they 18, they going off to college now, you know, and they shove them off. I couldn't do that because I knew how the world was. I dealt with a lot of people you know growing up I watched a lot because I'm a very quiet person and I mean I'm I'm now I think breaking out of my shell because my children grown older rather some grown and some older and I have to talk about stuff so I'm kind of breaking out of that little solemn and that quiet shell of um of talking because I want them to be able to talk and say things that's <clears throat> that's on their mind um I've always talked to them and told them this, you know the ropes my daughter feel like I didn't give her allow her to have street smart and I didn't because you she shouldn't have been out in the street that's what I felt. I felt like, you know, what I need to teach you, street smart, but when you're not gonna be out there in the, in the street, you're gonna be, you know, making a life for yourself and stuff like that. That's not the street, that's, um, that's, um, that's not the street, that's um, out in the world, you know, making a life. So you don't need to have that deep of smart. The smart you need is the smart you get from home and the smart you get from work. Maybe a little bit of street smart, and that's something you probably, she could probably um, learn, and that's that's not um, uncommon sense. That's common sense things. Because I didn't know the street either, but but nobody pulled. Well, I don't want to say that because people probably pulled wool, and I didn't really peep it. But <clears throat> I felt like you know she would she would be okay. But her thing was she didn't want to live that life that I was teaching her to live and um <clears throat> excuse me anyway um but I have always just you know like right now if she call me um before we hang up she always say I love you mom and I tell her I love her back and um the other day I called her and was talking to her a little bit and um when I first called, I don't really call her often because I feel like, you know, let me let her. I'm sorry, this car just hopped in front of me and <clears throat> went slow trying to get over to the other side. 
Um, I just felt like let me not call. I don't call all the time because I want her to. I know she be busy a lot too, and I just want her to, you know, have a little adult freedom and. a little adult freedom and um not little but have a adult freedom and um and not <clears throat> be over taken by me calling all the time so I don't call all the time I you know let her be so um and two I think I changed a lot of myself because I always felt like um I've always had my kids around me all the time, all the time, and all the time, and um, and I didn't, and I didn't, um, I didn't allow myself to <clears throat> be away from them too long. You know, even when I work, I worked and came right home. Some people work, and then after they get off work, they go get their nails done, they hair done. I never. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, y'all. Two cars was on both sides of me in the front of me, front lane. And both of them was trying to get over at the same time. So it was almost like us, like that. Oh, God. So, anyway, um,. I've always had them around me all the time to a point where I, I didn't feel like I needed to be anywhere else. I mean, I was a mother for heaven's sakes. I mean, I had a job to do. I mean, I know and I knew that when I had my first daughter, I knew, I mean, I knew it was no um, extracurricular activities to be done outside of having her. I knew I couldn't, um, I mean, I didn't hang out either growing up. I, I, I didn't hang out. I mean, I, I, I think I want to say I hung out, but I didn't. When I say hang out, my hang out is clubs and all that kind of stuff. I didn't do that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know a club that I ever went to. Y'all, I'm going to pull over. I don't, know. I don't know if I'm in the right spot. I think I passed the place. I ain't sure. drive a little further down and see but um yeah I, I didn't hang out clubbing and stuff like that like you know I, 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 I just got my nails done as an adult like I was grown 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 when I got my nails done Ooh, I wonder if I'm in the right spot, guys. I really wonder, like Jesus Christ. I'm gonna pull over and and see because I don't want to be in the wrong spot. So, um, oh, my shoulder hurts super bad. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, ain't, I didn't hang out like, like that. I just, um, I told my mom my biggest sin was, was, um, being with guys. Like, that was my biggest sin. I didn't, I didn't, um, anybody know me now? Like, my friends were to watch this video. 
they'll be like, Trina girl, you ain't do nothing. You was so quiet and so, um, you know, you was a church girl. And yeah, I was a church girl and I, I was quiet. That's one thing I didn't, uh, that's one thing I can't shake or can't deny. I don't even wanna, I, I don't even wanna deny it because um, <laughs> I love being that. I mean, that's that's something that had me rooted and grounded in life. I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, that was something that was my life. Where in the world? I hope I ain't looking over this card, y'all. The last time I came up here, some a driver, a driver brought me up here. And I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't want the driver. I wanted to come up here myself, but I had already told them that I was, um, that I would take the driver. So the day of the lady was like, I said, well, I could drive. She was like, well, we already have the driver here. So you want to just go ahead and take it? So I was like, dang. I said, all right. So. But, um. Y'all, I think I have to call them. Because I don't know where the car is. I thought I had it in my purse. So hold on, I'm going to be right back. Hold on. All right, y'all. I had the card already in my, in my pocket. I mean, in my purse. It was inside the envelope. And I had a uh, check in. Anyway, um, so I think that's the type of um, that's the reason why my dad was the way he was, because he felt like when he comes to the city, from everything that he was told, um, that uh, he could splurge and do what he wanted to do and um you know so anyway life goes on I guess so um <clears throat> anyway leaving my mom to literally struggle and, and, and raise us on her own majority of the time um but I ain't going too much more deep in that because that's really not my business to tell um so I can't blame my actions and I won't blame my actions on my father not being around I mean Furthermore, that, that, that should have been more of a reason I should have, um... In one quarter mile, make a U-turn. What? I felt like I came too far down. There should have been more of a reason for me not to, um... <laughs> In 300 feet, make a U-turn. Should have been more of a reason for me not to do what I did because I didn't want to have a guy like that in my life, in and out, and and, and um, you know, feeling like he could do as he felt led to do, and so um, I did what I wanted. I did my job. I mean, I did my my. I'm 
Bible said this way, I sinned. And I, I pray, I don't pray all the time. I don't pray all the time about that because once I done ask God to forgive me my sins, I let it be. Um, so, he has forgiven me and I, I'm living my life like he want me to live it now. I mean, I did, <laughs> I done did anything I think I might have wanted to do. I never clubbed, I never, um, I mean, I went to the back jam a couple of times. Um, it wasn't my cup of tea. So see stuff that may have been for, for one, um, for one person is not for the other. Like stuff that some women my age would have wanted to do when they were younger, that wasn't something I wanted to do. That wasn't my thing. I was, I was, I was good being how I was when I say that. I mean, I didn't hang out and, you know, clubbing and um, doing whatever else. I can't even think of anything to say. I'm gonna turn that up. So, um, but I love my children. I, I, the only thing I would do if given the chance to live this life over again, I would do it differently. You know, I would get married and I wouldn't have known my kids because I hadn't had the chance to know them. So, but I love them right now with all God has given me to love them with. I love them. I mean, those are my kids. If my daughter 24 and she want to stay home, that's on her. If she want to stay home, I'm not going to make her move out. I would like her to move, you know, not, well, not move, but I would like her to, you know, um, know herself to know, I would like her to know herself to know, um, it's so dark over there, sorry about the light, y'all. I would like her to know herself to know what she want and, you know, stuff like that. Maybe she'll change, her mind will change, I don't know. My mind may change. I'm not in put no uh, no rush on her head to make her um, change her mind or, or, or think anything different. You know, if she want to stay home, that's fine with me. Cause I don't want her to go out. I don't want to like push her and make her go out or go find yourself or go, you know, learn who you want to be a, you know what what you like or whatever. I don't want to say that and then um, mess around, something happened to her and then I'd be like, oh my gosh, I, I regret saying what I said. So, um, yeah. But anyway, um, that's just how I raised my kids and I, I now put them all in God's hands. You know, not even thinking of if something happened, if something happened, then God, God will keep me and he will comfort me and he would um, make sure that my heart is comforted. You know, when people, you ever heard of people saying, um, God, God could be your father when you're fatherless and mother when you're motherless. I believe that's true because he can comfort your heart like he comforted mine when I lost my son. I mean, that was a horrific, that was a very, 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 I can't even put a, 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 a word on how I felt like. In one quarter mile, turn left on Northwest 5th Street, then arrive at 7390 Northwest 5th Street on the right. 
read them. But, um... In 300 feet, turn left on Northwest 5th Street, then arrive at 7390 Northwest 5th Street on the right. That was a very, um... That was a very, 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 very... Very, um... Tough time for us. For me, I'm gonna speak for myself because... I'm talking to y'all right now. That was a very tough time for me. I mean, I couldn't even cry because I didn't feel like this was actually happening. In 800 feet, arrive at 7390 Northwest 5th Street, on the right. Arriving at 7390 Northwest 5th Street, on the right. Stuff sure be looking different when you get a ride with other people. I looked from the time I left that dentist's office. Um, that day I came up here. I looked at my surroundings. Because I'm funny like that. Like, I don't, somebody take me somewhere, I look. So I could know if anything happened, how to get back home or how to tell somebody where I'm at. And I looked and I could not, I guess, I, I guess it's been a while now, so I don't know. But anyway, um, I got here a little early, it's 9.14. My appointment is at 9.30. Anyway, y'all, um, I, I don't know if y'all can see, but my daughter did my hair over. And you can see my, my roots, my parts, and all that. Um, anyway, I was saying um, that when my son passed away, that it was it was a time I can't I can't I can't even explain to you how I felt all I all I can say is I felt like when I was leaving the hospital I felt like I was leaving the hospital without him I had been out there I left I was out there from the time we got to the hospital to the time we left. But there was one day they needed some x-ray papers or, or, or something from the um, hospital he went to. And I left the house, left the hospital, went to the hospital, um, got the paperwork, and I came back. I felt so, um, oh my God. I felt like I was betraying him by leaving to go get those papers. Um, I felt like, oh my God, I'm leaving. Um, I'm leaving my kid at this hospital. Anything could happen. 
I felt like, oh my God. Y'all, I don't know if y'all know. I probably, I don't know if I'm the only one feel like this about my kids, but gosh, I mean, I felt like when God blessed me with those kids, I mean, I know I didn't have them on his, I know I didn't have them on the terms that I should have had them on by getting married and all, but once he blessed me with them, me taking the care that I took for them, me taking care of them the way I did, I think, I, I wasn't, I, I don't even want to say I did it taking up trying to take up for me having the kids like I didn't take care of them the way I took care of them to say um you know God forgive me it wasn't like that I oh my gosh y'all just don't know I love my children like I don't know I can't even explain it because it's very emotional to me because I love them so much like it's, it's no words but um anyway I gave my son over to God he took he's taking care of him just like he's taking care of me and keeping me and my kids my girls right now he's keeping us he's keeping us because Without him, I don't know. I don't know what I'm capable of. I don't know what they're capable of. I don't know how my life would be set up if he wasn't in charge of my life right now. If I didn't give him a rule and reign over my life right now. If I didn't open my heart and my life to him, I don't know. I don't know. I probably would be. I don't know. That's like my kids right now. My girls, they want me to get a. Um, they want me to have a companion in my life. And I don't need nobody. I mean, really. I don't feel like. Having somebody. A male in my life would do anything for me. I lost my kid's father in 2018. I done said that already in. I can't, I don't see it. I don't see anybody coming close to him uh, or coming close to what I want. I, I can't, I can't see it. And it's weird that they're saying that because the last two of the kids, it's his, um, it's his children and it's weird that they're saying that. I think, I don't know, I, I want to think they're missing him. I want to think that they're missing him to that point where they feel like, you know, get someone else in your life like him or not like him because nobody. He was so sweet when he was sweet. Like, <laughs> you know how people say stuff like that? People in abusive relationships. I wasn't in no abusive relationship at all. People say stuff like that. It was like, well, when he's good, he's good. And when he's sweet, he's sweet. But we had our times. You know, everybody do. We had our times. Um, but we were so opposite, though. I was a church lady, you know, and I don't cuss, I don't drink, and um, I don't know what else, but he was opposite. He would drink, he would uh, cuss, he smoked, you know, stuff like that. So he would he would say sometime that we um, we are opposite, and it's it's meant to be like that. We be together that we because we opposite. He'll call me on Halloween night and tell me, um, no, not Halloween. 
um, he knew I didn't celebrate Halloween, but he'll call me um, um, 4th of July and ask me what we doing. So I said, oh, nothing, we ain't doing nothing. Um, Y'all going up to see the fireworks? So I said, no, no, like, no, we're not going to see the fireworks. You know, if anything, we'll be, I don't know, I don't, I don't, they don't even go out to see fireworks and stuff like that. So he was like, yeah, 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 I know, right? Oh, no, 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 not, not 4th of July. I'm sorry, y'all. New Year's, New Year's night. I got confused with that because they do, um, they, uh, like fireworks on, uh, New Year's night too. So I tell him no. And back when we were having church on New Year's night, um, I, was, I tell him, well, we're going to church or whatever. He'll say, all right, we'll be safe out there or whatever. But he 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 knew where I, he knew where I stood. He knew and he loved the way I raised my children. He didn't, um, he never said, you know, uh, you, you always raising them like this. And he didn't say that. You know, whatever I, whatever I say and he know the way I raise him, he'll enforce that. He'll say, you know what your mom said or whatever, you know, so um, so don't do that or uh, something like that, you know. But um, I don't, I don't want to cry right now. I think I'm thinking of those good times and because I could try to put his voice on real good and that'll bring back a, a, a lot of good memories, but. I don't even want to think about them like that right now, but um, whew. anyway, um, I was just basically talking about how um, I raised my children up and how, you know, I didn't want them to be, you know, influenced by this, uh, influenced by that. And uh, this is really a part one to, to this because it's probably about 20 parts. So um, if you like this video, it's just a little small snippet about me um, and my children me raising them and stuff like that. But um, it's just a little snippet about it. And I'll get into depth a little more with other um, with other stories. As I said, this is part one. So um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, you know, I like to say, tell me what you talk to me and tell me how you raise your children and, you know talk back to me and tell me you know how you felt about the video but um if you don't want to talk about how you felt about it or how you raise yours that's fine um this is my story time and so i'm telling you how my story is about this uh, i'm telling you about my story Anywho, it is 9.25 and my appointment, like I said, is at 9.30, so I'm about to head on in here and get this over with so I can go back home. Because I woke up kind of early this morning because of the appointment. And I went to bed a little late because my daughter was doing my hair. I'll try to insert some clips later in this video. Um, I want to go back home and go to sleep. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning because I woke up at like 7.30. No. Like 7.20. It had to be like 7.20 or something. So I got on up and washed up and everything like that. And then um, I left. Oh, my God. I'm going to... Um, go into this place and do this and then come on back out so I can get on back home. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. 
don't know why I just did this. <laughs> I love you all. And um, see you all in my next video. Bye.